Brian. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. He will be back tomorrow, so this is my last day with you guys, at least for the foreseeable future. Let's take a look at what we have going on today. We have the ES Mini of about 0.21% currently, trading at 4,880. Of course, we've made all-time highs in the SPX. And the Dow, Russell, trading about 1985, up about 1.5%. The NQs sideways, 0.12%, trading about 17,000. 460. Uh, the Dow futures trading at 38,156, up about 0.3 percent. The gold contract, again, not too much action going on in the metals currently. Um, trading down about 0.4 percent right now with gold contract trading at 2,021 and 40 cents. Uh, same with silver. Silver's down a little bit more today, uh, down about 2.3 percent on some pretty decent volume as well. Copper down about a percent as well, trading about 3.74 on the contract. Let's take a look. Crude oil, again, we've had a volatile uh, past few weeks, say past month, with crude oil trading up about 2% right now. It's up to $74.76. Uh, it seems that a lot of the analysts and investors believe that drilling will resume or lease operations will resume in Libya. Of course, they're having a strike at one of their oil fields. Of course, how much that actually alleviates uh, some of the supply issues and um, overarching complications kind of in world trade and uh, with some OPEC states. Uh, it's hard to say if that will bring the price down any at all, but we've been seeing some pretty wild swings really since about December 7th. Of course, it's in a tight bound from about 70 bucks to about 75, um, but every day you can see just pretty volatile movement uh, in the crude futures. Of course, looking at Tesla right now, trading still down. We're at 207 27. That has been a march downwards for Tesla since about, let's see, December 28th. Of course, right there is trading about just above 26. Let's see about 265 roughly. And we're trading down right now at 207.40, uh, down about 2.25% today. So dynamics back up, of course. <laughs> Stock never stays down for too long, trading at 115.18. Of course, we're off from a high of about 128, almost 130. Uh, quite a lot of volume coming up as well. That movement down on lighter volume is, uh, for me, I like that, especially as someone who wants to invest in this stock. The dollar trading at 103.35. Uh, we are not getting any kind of big movement to the downside uh, with the dollar yet, so we'll have to kind of wait to see what happens with them, or excuse me, with that. QQQs at 421. Uh, Meta today down slightly. Disney up 2.2%. Apple up 1.26%. Okay, let's talk about Gilead. So they're working on a lung cancer, uh, excuse me, drug. Obviously, you can tell from this movement, it did not work. Let's look a little bit about that. This is called uh, Trodelvi. That was the drug that was uh, being tested. It fails in lung cancer and raises new questions on antibody drug conjugates in, uh, as a whole. So let's take a look at this here. Uh, Gilead Sciences said Monday at the Trodelvi, it's a quote-unquote smart bomb medicine that combines an antibody with chemotherapy, did not significantly extend the lives of patients uh, with me uh, metastatic small, excuse me, non-small cell lung cancer when given after first treatment failed. Okay, the result from a closely watched study called VOC-01 uh, will be seen as a disappointment by many investors and oncologists alike. Uh, these kind of antibody drug conjugates are really new on the market, and uh, there's a lot of hope that they may be able uh, to kind of resolve uh, some very resistant cancers. Um, but at least in the case of Gilead today, uh, it, it did not really uh, work. So we can see right now we're down about 11.2% in Gilead, and again, that is on some significant volume as well. Let's take a look. We spoke about Plug last week. They had dropped something significant. Uh, let me get off the yearly here. Let me get like a one month. Obviously, we had some big volume coming down here, even bigger volume. Again, it was kind of a fighty day right here. Uh, we're up now. We were speaking about them last, last week. They were down uh, significantly. I can't remember the exact percentage, uh, but we're up about 4% today. Uh, they had pretty bad earnings. Um, they were trying to offer more stock uh, to get some more money. 
Obviously, that dilutes the equity, and people don't like that. Okay, so let's take a look at why this is going up, and this is what's kind of insane about this market currently. All right, as of 10 a.m., this was up about 13 percent. Of course, we've kind of tempered throughout the day right now, up about 4.10 percent. Um, they're hosting a business update tomorrow. And for some reason, a large amount of people are expecting that they're going to have a positive outlook for the company. I tried to look up what, you know, what was kind of fueling that conversation, and, and I, I couldn't find anything. Uh, you know, they have a, okay, they're getting a huge influx of cash, about $1 billion. That's great, but that was from issuing the new shares. Um, I, I guess, you know, that ensures that the company persists for a while longer. Um, but I'm not really sure where the conversation around some massive update uh, that they're going to give at their meeting tomorrow is, is coming from. So uh, I guess maybe people were seeing this as very low. I mean, it was super cheap. It got sold off, you know, a, a lot last week. Um, and so maybe they're just kind of taking their bets in it. Uh, I'm not really seeing what is so positive about this stock right now. Um, but, of course, the market is really what's right. Let's take a look. Um, you know, I talk about, uh, give me a second, cybersecurity companies uh, a lot. I talk just about the industry in its whole. Uh, Sentinel One got an upgrade earlier. This is uh, fantastic news for the company. We'll get off the one month. Uh, we'll go on the yearly, up about 5.27% today. Uh, they are also acquiring an Indian cloud security platform. It's called PingSafe. It's for $100 million and is dubbed the largest acquisition in Indian cybersecurity startup. Okay, but this is great for Sentinel One as well, expanding kind of their operations. Uh, the deal is expected to close the first quarter of the fiscal year of 2025. Last year, it raised $3.3 in seed funding. This is the PingSafe company. Uh, it's pretty, pretty good for it. Sentinel One has the AI security platform, which is very positive, uh, and I think really the future uh, for cybersecurity. And um, if you're interested in getting exposure to cybersecurity, um, like I said, check. We, we went over Fortinet, went over Juniper, uh, which may be or is getting acquired by Hewlett Packard, um, Cisco, and Sentinel One. Check these out. Do your due diligence, as everyone should as an investor. Um, but just in the news today, Sentinel One is doing pretty well. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back with Steve Rose.